when I first came to town, I was just hunting for a farm with eight to ten acres with a house and a barn. So I'm involved with old farm items and old farm animals and old farm buildings and the farmhouse just made a perfect fit for me and my family to be here in Masons. We have three different breeds of sheep. I started 25 years ago and this is my 25th anniversary of, of doing the um, Jacob sheep. I helped to start the breed association and the pedigrees before there was any um, organized efforts here in the United States with my very first sheep and did that for a number of years and then in 1999 had the opportunity to import semen from England of purebred Wensleydales and we did a great up process of using old Cotswold ewes that originally came from Greenfield Village and that we knew they were pure animals that Henry Ford brought over in 1940. And so we knew they were a long wool breed and with recommendations from over in the UK started breeding the Wensleydales so you get 50%, then you get 75s and 87s, then you're up to 93 and 97% is considered an American purebred and we're just another generation away from having American purebreds. But it's been a real great endeavor of seeing these big long wool sheep that have dreadlocks that you wonder what they're used for but they're not only quality wool because it's a long wool fine wool but also they're a big hefty size sheet that makes a good joint of meat as they say in the UK and they are a lean animal but they also produce milk and they're a heavy milking animal that they do milk them and make Wensleydale cheese as the Wallace and Gromit cartoon talks about. So, in the past four years I picked up the blue face Lester's to kind of help a uh, few breeders here in the area to get more breeders around involved and now that breed is starting to grow because you're seeing a lot of qualities of using those animals because they are another long wool breed of sheep. They are an excellent meat type sheep. Very little grain, very little concentrate. Basically sunshine, water and grass can produce a quality lamb that can meet you and go from the pasture to the plate. Very low maintenance for me to, to maintain things when you run into another full-time job. And the sheep basically fend for themselves and we just kind of give them a little assistance when needed. Now, these are historic breeds because this was the breed that Harry Firestone had and their family when he invented the tire. These are dark Brahma standard chickens and they originated from China but the reason why the Firestones got them was because of the feathers on their feet they knew they wouldn't get frostbit. They'll come shooting out like rockets but first oh. And we can get a neat picture of them on the roof. Kind of the sky's the limit when you look at the opportunities that you can do right here on your own farm, whether it's two or three acres or it's a couple hundred acres that you can there again you're doing that sustainability that you're perpetuating the opportunities for people to enjoy those products that you produce right in your own backyard.